Minecraft snapshots are very strange. People are familiar with the new Mace snapshot that came out recently, but that is only the tip of the iceberg. I accidentally came across something called 3D Shareware v1.34, a snapshot that came out five years ago. And let's say that this is not your regular Minecraft snapshot. But yeah, nope, this is Minecraft. The text isn't even like working properly. See, available and registered version. How do we get the registered version? The only thing we can really do is just go straight into this. The player is you. Select difficulty. Okay. Minecraft shareware, please consider registering the game to gain access to the full versions and all weapons. I'll open the form. Okay, so this opened a notepad on my second monitor, which I'll drag across. Mojang order sheet, page one of two. Mark all items you wish to order. Minecraft 3D, immersive virtual reality mining simulation with intense crafting capabilities. Our freshest and radicalist game. I mean, it's really interesting, but we're just gonna continue playing now. I... It, I do have stuff here. This is because I went through it on Twitter like a couple months ago. But since then, I have not touched this. Dude, this is actually really, really cool. So, I have my health and my armor. I really like it. You can see... Wait, what? Next disc required. Insert disc 33 into drive A and press enter. I mean, I just, I just pressed enter without doing anything, okay? I mean, we can do everything we can normally do in Minecraft. I don't know why I made a crafting table, even though I already had one. But I'm thinking, like, what version is this? Like, what version are they taking this from? So we have the barrels as well, water breathing. I did not expect that. I do not remember that happening. Okay, anyways. Red key. Bully shot 12? Wait, what was the name of that? That was that was a weird name. BFC is that 9000? That is definitely not creepy. Ooh. Why is it doing it every time I open? We've got a yellow key this time. Is it meant to be doing that noise? Oh. Wait, you can break these with the crossbow? Do they actually drop the stuff too? Okay, I don't think they do. Is there even hunger in this game? I know I'm on the easiest mode, but I'd assume I still have some form of like a hunger bar because there's, there's no hunger bar anywhere. Okay, well, yeah, it's going to turn into nighttime. I'm really curious to see the mobs, but if there isn't, it's probably because I'm on the lowest difficulty. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even seeing any mobs. I'm not seeing anything. So what I'll do is can I just go back like this and can I go into the other difficulty? So we won't do filthy casual. We won't do lemon curry either. We'll do extreme to the max. I want, I'm genuinely curious to see what's gonna happen if i just crank up the difficulty to like max it's gonna spawn me in a different oh no i'm i'm back here so it's the same world under a different difficulty dude it's actually so hard to aim with this oh that is my hunger bar that is like pork chop on a bone or beef or whatever that is that's my hunger okay so i do actually need to eat food oh my gosh this is getting kind of hectic so let me see the creepers now that's pretty cool. I'm not even going to lie. That's actually kind of cool. So the thing is, I'm still really curious about these keys. So we have three keys. We have the red key, the yellow key, and the blue key. I think this is the moment for me to actually start looking stuff up. Okay. So found all of these on the Minecraft wiki. So shout out the Minecraft wiki. You guys are the goats. But there are only three keys and we have all three. So it says on the wiki for the red key, according to its lore, it opens red doors. It's dropped by the wither and it can be obtained through barrels. I mean, we have all of the keys through the barrels. The blue key, it opens blue doors and it's dropped by the elder guardian. And same thing can be obtained through the barrels. With the yellow key, take a guess. Guys, what's the yellow key going to be? used for you guessed it right it's the yellow doors but it's dropped by ravagers and it can be obtained through barrels as well i mean they have a section here called 3d and it says according to its lore it is tasty eating it in survival mode while the hunger bar is less than full shows a picture of the developer cast of minecraft so yeah i'm just gonna run around on top of these trees while i still can and just to kind of get like my hunger down until i cannot sprint anymore okay my sprint is done can i do anything with these now i'm i'm clicking nothing is happening okay so under the general section boss mode pressing b displays a screenshot of an early 1990s dos like office work program oh wait what i mean this doesn't give us much i don't know what this 39 means it's a cool easter egg oh no i want to press enter oh so there's cheat codes in this. What, are we playing GTA now? What's going on? Typing the following cheat codes, not necessarily in chat and are not case sensitive, shows a message and trigger an action. So the first one is power overwhelming. Power 
overwhelming. Oh, there we go. Nothing can stop you. Okay, so can you just like crank to the sky now and just take no fall damage? Oh yeah, we're invincible. Okay, that's a cool one. Pigs on the wing. Okay, this one should be interesting. Flying equals very yes. Okay, so what does this actually do? Oh, I can fly. I can just fly. Okay, well, we have flight enabled. What is Flasha? Okay, F-L-A-S-H-A-A-A-A-A. -A 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 -A. What do I have? What effects do I have? I want to I wanna see my effects. Okay, jump boost, speed, and haste. Okay, that's interesting. And now, go away. We have one called a nerd. So it's N-E-E-E-E-R-D. Special creeper spawn nearby. Where? Where's the creeper? What in the hell is that? Wait, it's a nerd emoji creeper. Yo, how you doing? Can we light this on fire? Can I like slash give myself like flint and steel? Can I light you on fire and you do something? It's a normal explosion, okay. That's cool though, okay, I'll do it again. N-E-E-E-E-R-D. Where is it? That's really cool. I, I really like this Easter egg. Because when I typed in the command to give myself flint and steel, I saw that I could give myself something called 3D. And I'm going to do it now. Yeah, this. Minecraft 3D. I can't do anything with this. Can I wear it? Can I give it to the creeper? No? Okay. That's interesting. That's really interesting. So one of the things that it tells you to try is to go on the obligatory nightmare mode. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do exactly just that. So I believe there's nothing... You can't even select these. These are just meant for trolling. So what's going to... What's going to happen? I mean, I, I have to try it. I have to try it. Is it like a mob going to be like extra buffed or what's happening? Am I not invincible? I'm meant to be invincible. Why am I taking damage? I don't think- Is this meant to happen? Oh, it's not the spider that's killing me. I'm just- I'm just taking random damage. Upon loading the game after having selected this in the difficulty menu, the player constantly loses health until death. And the death message displays as, Player name was too soft for this world. Well, you know what? You can just kill me. Am I just gonna continuously take damage? I am. Oh, yeah. So when you load into the world for the first time, you get this chest and it has a bunch of stuff here. So I think realistically, the only thing I can do now, actually, we'll try go to the end as well. And if we're not, then the only thing we can realistically do is it does work. It actually works really nicely. But what I was going to say is the only thing we could do after this is wait until day five to see what happens. And maybe look around the files to see if there's anything extra in there. So I believe we can kill the ender dragon like this. We killed it. I'm pretty sure. It's going to hop in through here. Is this going to look different? This is got to be different. I'm pretty sure it's different to the original. I'll just wait to see until the text comes out. Okay, yeah, it's definitely different. Not the actual text itself, but how it looks. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sit here, do nothing, and wait until day five is around. I mean, yeah, aside from that, there isn't really much I can do. I'll just wait for it to become day five, and I'll let you know what happens. So I shall be right back. See, the, li the lights are coming out. The sun is shining bright. I'm pretty sure there's like a billion phantoms above my head. But we don't worry about that. The day is coming out. What's going to happen? You have passed your fifth day. Use F2 to save a screenshot of your creation. Is that it? Um, I... I forgot that I had that barrel that was like bugged out. Okay. I'm kind of confused now because... I mean, you know, it's technically a demo and it should be done after day five. Oh, there we go. Demo has expired. Buy the game to continue or start a new world. Oh, it stops you from actually placing blocks. We can destroy them. Wait, what? So you can break blocks, but you cannot place any. The fire to just dig down. Oh, it's not, it's not even letting me go through. Okay, that's really weird. That's actually kind of cool. I did not expect you to be able to like go around your world and it just stops you from playing the game essentially. I thought what was going to happen is you were going to have like a pop-up saying, oh, your demo's expired, like exit world. That's what I thought was going to happen, but no. Like, you can still roam around your world. You just cannot make any changes to it. I think that's it. That is it for the unregistered version of Minecraft 3D shareware.